two, three, four. It's been hard to find someone kind who could hear what I couldn't say. It'll take some time to leave behind all the words you said that day. I guess I lost myself when I went to find the one who walked away. I tried to tell myself you were steps behind. I tried to tell myself you'd stay. I see high tide and river flow Always drift back to sea Can't own glows, can't own anything Pulling away from me I know a hard brain's got to fall Making lovers look so strange Well, my eyes are tired But the battle line always looks the same See, I left my mama as a little girl She was all the love I knew She was never meant to My name is Dana Fuchs. I would say the kind of music I make is soulful, bluesy, rock and roll. I'm a big Otis Redding, Robert Plant, Rolling Stones, Beatles fan, so it's a hodgepodge of all of that bluesy. Did I say that? Yeah. trying to measure up to never good enough I see high tide and river flow always drift back to sea can't own clothes can't own anything pull it away from me I know a heart rings got to fall making lovers look so strange When I grew up, I was surrounded by music. I was very fortunate. Being the youngest of six kids, um, and my parents both being big music fans, there was always music playing in our house. So it was everything from like Ray Charles, Hank Williams, Johnny Cash, uh, to the classic rock that my siblings listened to, Beatles, Queen, Zeppelin, Stones, Grateful Dead, um, then down to being Growing up in a predominantly black neighborhood, we had a lot of soul, a lot of R&B, so I got turned on to all of that stuff. Um, the only thing I didn't really get a lot of exposure to was blues music. That wasn't until I went to New York City. She was standing on the back street. She was feeling up her knees. She was wanted in four counties on the day. So she been free Living for no reason She got nothing left to live Left her baby back home crying The hunger was too deep She gave up even trying To sing her back to sleep for no reason she had nothing left to prove nothing to believe in makes it easier to chill so she said meet me down on the back street baby my hands are dirty my tongue is Backstreet lady, share my shame in broad daylight. The blues came into my life actually in New York City, pretty much my first week there. Um, it was very funny. I had been living in New Jersey just across the bridge and was trying to get myself into New York, and I finally did. And I was buying a little futon couch. Um, at this shop and one of the guys there was saying hey you know where are you from what are you doing and I said I just moved in and uh, I came from Florida why'd you come from Florida why are you up here I want to be a singer oh I have a club it's open mic night tonight gave me the address my brother was coming to visit and I was wandering the streets looking for this place and I hear a guitar solo um, I walk in and my now music partner 20 years later was soloing on uh, Etta James Rather Go Blind he was backing up a tall, black, Cherokee, Indian, African-American guy named Moose. And that was my first 
I had never heard Etta James. I'd never heard blues. And I was like, what is this music? It's amazing. So I met with them after they invited me to sing Stormy Monday. I butchered it. I didn't know anything about blues. <laughs> and I lied and said I did. Uh, and then John Diamond, my music partner, said, you have a good instrument, but you don't know blues. What are you listening to? So I said, Robert Plant, Stones. And he was like, now go listen to who they listen to. And uh, he gave me a lot of notes, had me over. He had a big collection of vinyls, and we would just tear through them. And we started doing music together. I fell in to a burning ring of fire Went down It burns, burns, burns That ring of fire That ring of fire John and I write all of the songs. Yes, uh, we have... You know, we brought in a couple of writers um, for a couple of tunes, just some people that were saying, hey, I want to write with you guys, I want to write. So we'd say, okay, come over to uh, our studio. is at John's place in Harlem. Um, and we would have some guys come sit in. One guy, Scott Sherrard, uh, he's Greg, he was Greg Allman's musical director for many years. Super, super talented guitar player, singer. Um, so he helped with the music on a few of the tracks. And, uh, you know, but yeah, it's always me and John. I'm all lyrics. Nobody touches my words. I, you know, I have to really believe what I'm singing. If I'm, I'm either going to cover an iconic tune or I have to write the lyrics myself. Just, you know, i got to get on stage every night and perform this and live it, you know, year after year. So I've got to mean it. She's been down with the distant thunder it came beating down the door Her heart went racing And she went under Found a lion on the All of my albums, I would say the lyrics are There's a lot of autobiographical stuff But I'm also really constantly influenced by the people I meet on the road That's informed a lot of my writing, different people's stories um, You know, I did a song today called Battle Line That was about a Dutch girl I met who, you know, told me this really sad story, um, how her mom died when she was young and her father just couldn't measure up. And there's my stories in there too because I related to her story quite a bit. So, you know, we had this thing in common. We talked about it one night and I was really struck by the story and, and yeah, but that happens all the time. So it's always me weaved in with others. I had to choke back all I had left Drive with all my might to live through one more night. Fight my way back to life. I'm trying with all my might to live through one more night. Fight my way back to life. I gotta fight my way back to life. My statement to the world, you know, lately I've been sort of figuring that out because it, it, this, this latest album, you know, I lost five family members in a very short period of time and then found out I was pregnant with a child after being told I couldn't have kids. So it's been a very strange few years. Um, and, you know, my mom being the most recent loss, uh, April, two years ago, and I laid next to her, held her hand, and the, the title of the album is called Love Lives On. It's a song I wrote sitting there next to my mom as she was passing after having just found out I was pregnant. And I was like, no, not now. Um, but it's that cycle of life. It's, it's a hope and redemption that there is beauty in this tragic life. Sadness is, is also beautiful if we just except that it's part of life. And I think, you know, I'm going to sound like a throwback hippie here, but I do believe that really love does conquer all. I, I, I am fully convinced that more bombing, more divisiveness, more hate, more bias, more racism, more xenophobia is only destroying the world. I think really my, my truest message is hope, redemption, and come on, there's a song on my album called Same Sunlight. We are all living and breathing the same air. We're all trying to stay alive. We all want to be happy. We want our families to be happy. Why can't we appreciate that in each other? If everybody stopped for a minute to say, oh, their happiness is just as important to them as mine is to me, what a different world we'd have. That's a long, rounded way of saying the album is hope, redemption, and love. 
Share my shame and broad day. Share my shame and broad day. Share my shame and broad day.